In this video, we're going to go through the binomial distribution. So first of all, what do we mean by the binomial distribution? So the binomial distribution looks like this. We say that X follows the binomial with two parameters, N for the number and P for the probability. So there are two conditions that there must be N independent trials and two, there has to be a constant probability of success. Provided we have that, we can say that X follows the binomial distribution. So if we take this question here, we've got John is going on a holiday for five days and out of the seven days, there was five days which are most likely going to be sunny. So because he's going for five days on a holiday, N is five and the probability of it being sunny is five out of seven. So we can say that this will be X follows the binomial of N is five and the probability is five out of seven. And we call this the binomial distribution. And then part B says, calculate the probability that John has two or less sunny days on his holiday. That's going to be the probability that X is less than equal to two. Well, we can do that on our calculator. So we go to menu, option seven. We scroll down to binomial CD, option one, and we're going to choose two. And we can put X two there. It's five days and the, pro and the probability of success is five divided by seven and we press equals and the required probability we want is going to be 0 0.1447. So 0 0.1447 and so on. So I'm just going to round that up to 0 0.145. And then part C says, what is the most likely number of sunny days that John will get on his holiday? show your work in. So the first thing we need to know is the binomial formula, which is the probability that X equals R is NCR times the probability raised to the power of R times one minus P raised to the power of N minus R. So we're going to try the probability that X equals three. So we're going to get five C three times five over seven raised to the power of three, one minus five over seven is two over seven. So, and then five take away three is two. So we can get this on our calculator. And so I'm gonna type this straight in. So we get five C three times five over seven to the power of three. Two over seven squared, and that will give me approximately 0 0.30. Now I want to find the probability that x equals four. So it's five C four, five over seven, raised to the power of four, two over seven, raised to the power of one. So I can just change those values on my calculator. So change this to a one, go back, change that to four, go back also to here and change that to four. And that gives me approximately 0 0.37. And let's do the probability that X equals five. So we get five C five, five over seven raised to the power of five two over seven raised to the power of zero. So this would give me a zero here. I'm gonna change this to a five. And I'm gonna change that to a five. And that gives me 0 0.19 approximately. So the probability with the highest is 0 0.37 and that probability probability corresponds to the probability of an X value of four. So because 0 0.37 is the highest, I'm gonna choose four as my answer. So four days is 
the most likely or the, or the most highest probability. Here's the next question. You can try the question, pause the video, and when you're done, I will go through my work solution. Okay, welcome back. It says, the eggs in the nest of a certain type of seagull have a 20% chance of being infertile. Write down the probability that an egg is fertile. So we just do one minus 0 0.20. That's going to be 0 0.80. But remember, from now onwards in the question, we're interested in in the probability of an egg being infertile, which is 0 0.20. A nest contains four eggs. Write down the name of the distribution that can be used to model the number of infertile eggs. So we can say x follows the binomial, n is four, and the probability is 0 0.20. And we call this the binomial distribution. This is known as the binomial distribution Calculate the probability that exactly one egg is infertile. So we can say the probability that x equals r is ncr probability raised to the power of r of one minus p to the power of m minus r. So we want one egg, so it's the probability that x equals one, in our case is four c one, times the probability, which is 0 0.20 raised to the power of one, now one minus that is 0 0.80, and then we've got to do four minus one, which is three. We can get our calculator. If you type that straight in, four C one times 0 0.20. Don't forget this is all raised to the power of one. That's the power button, one times 0 0.80 raised to the power of three. And that gives me 0 0.4096, so it's 0 0.4096. And then part three says, calculate the probability that more than two eggs are infertile. That basically means the probability that X is greater than two. So we can do one minus the probability that X is less than or equal to two. So that's one minus, now the probability that X is less than or equal to two, I can get from my calculator. I can say, go to menu, go to option seven, we go down to binomial CD, and we go to option one, and we're gonna choose a variable. So X would be two in this case. Now we've got four eggs, and the probability that you're infertile is going to be 0 0.20. Now, if I press equals, I get a value of 0 0.9728. So 0 0.9728. And then I'm just going to do one minus that value. So if I come out of this, I can just double check as my last value, 0 0.9728, and I'll just do one minus that. And that will give me 0 0.0272. So 0 0.0272, and that's my answer.